Android devices are bad at controlling recoil compared with the iPhone. Well, is that really the case? Hello guys, this is Shifan. You can also call me the PUBG Mobile Sensitivity Master. Because I have more than 11 million views on my sensitivity videos combined in my channel. In my past videos, I always use iPhone sensitivity as a reference, which is a little bit hard for Android users to compare and come up with their own. But for today, I have the brand new Xperia 1 Mark III, the flagship Android phone from Sony. If you want to know more about the gaming features on this phone, you can check this video out. I'm going to show you the best Android sensitivity for PUBG Mobile in this video. If you play on iPhone or iPad, don't close the video yet, as I will give you guys tips and tricks when adjusting the best sense for yourself. I spent weeks testing and playing on this device so that I can come up with the best Android sensitivity for you guys. If you achieve zero recoil after watching this guide, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video to your friend. As I mentioned in my previous video, different phone brand, screen size, and even weight, etc. They all play a big factor how your sensitivity differ from others. Take my Sony's Xperia 1 Mark III as an example. It has 21 to 9 ratio screen. It's definitely the widest phone I have ever used, which makes me catch more field of view during playing. And because it's wider than other phones, the objects in game showing on the device will be larger. As a result, we need to turn our sensitivity up. Same rules apply if you are using a device with a larger screen. Now let me introduce you another concept called the touch sampling rate. It's the number of times the screen registers, scans, or detects the input in a second. Basically higher the number, more responsive your phone screen will be. The Xperia 1 Mark III I'm using has a 240Hz touch sampling rate, which is 2 times faster than my iPhone. It makes my aim faster and more accurate even if high sensitivity is adjusted. If your phone's touch sampling rate is lower than mine, make sure you decrease my sensitivity by 5% each. Let's go to the first page. Free look camera sensitivity. Free look camera is mostly used when we are in TPP and trying to throw nades to the enemies. So you want it neither too slow or fast in order to accurately land the nade. The second page is the camera sensitivity. Because I'm using finger sleeve while playing, the sensitivity I showed you guys here is relatively low compared with others. So I suggest the players who play with bare hands increase all of the sensitivity by 20%. For the third person no scope sensitivity, if you can rotate the character 180, I think it's a good sensitivity you can use. In other cases, if you also wear finger sleeve while playing like me, but your phone screen size is smaller than the Xperia 1 Mark III, you can turn down all the sensitivity by 5%. The third page is ADS sensitivity. Same rule applies as above. It's worth mentioning that my third person no scope ADS sensitivity is slightly lower than the one in the camera section. I find out that it gives me higher accuracy while hip fire. Red dot ADS sensitivity is higher than the one in the camera section because I need a stable pre -aim. But also to be able to shoot running enemy cars. The fourth page is the gyroscope sensitivity. I play PUBG Mobile with my full gyroscope on. If you want to know more about gyroscope and getting zero recoil, please check this video out. Because of Xperia 1 Mark III's super lightweight body, I'm able to have very good flexibility and not maxing out 400 gyro at the same time. If your phone is on the heavy side, my suggestion is that you can increase my sensitivity about 5% to 10% to improve flexibility. Last but not least, the newly introduced ADS gyroscope sensitivity. I have the third person no scope sensitivity set to 340% compared with 320% in the gyroscope section. I did it because this phone screen is very long and it gives me a wider point of view. 
slightly higher sense can give me more coverage. My 3, 4, 6, 8x scope sense here are all greater than the ones in the gyroscope section, because I need a higher sense to control the recoil of any AR. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you guys still have questions about Android device sensitivity, comment down below and I will try my best to answer them all. I'm Shifan, see you guys in the next one. Blue Team Victory! Thank <laughs> you.